Hey, Linton, good to talk to you again. And uh, another big fight on a, a big head of steam, two wins in, uh, in your pocket going into this one. Just uh, give me your thoughts on this matchup. Obviously, Tyrell Fortune is uh, another well-regarded uh, heavyweight in Bellator's uh, heavyweight division. Yeah, um, yeah, coming off two big wins, as you just said. But this is the next fight to make. You know, I feel like after them two wins, I was definitely destined for a number one contender fight. And Tyrell fits that. You know, he's he's obviously um, in the top five, same same as me. So this fight needs to happen, you know. Um, I want to be champ, so why not now? How much better do you feel at heavyweight? And in, I know you had that initial stumble against Moldovsky, but that, in hindsight, doesn't look as bad now that he's carrying a title, right? But how much better do you feel uh, in this division without cutting all that weight? Um, so much better. It's, it's something I should have done a long time ago. But, um, you know, sometimes you have to learn the hard way, should I say. And, um, yeah, I definitely feel this is the best, best decision I've made. And no cutting weight, you know, eat what I like in, in moderation. Um, yeah, and I feel like less injuries as well. And you don't, you're not as moody come, come fight week. You haven't got to cut that weight and do all that sauna work. And last one for me, I mean, you mentioned the uh, the title eliminator, obviously the possibility is out there, but who do you think you might be fighting for that? Because we've got a bit of a a conundrum here. You've got Bader, who's the undisputed yeah. champ, obviously kind of disputed because Boldovsky's got that title, and then Alfador's in the mix coming off that big win. Yeah, so I, I thought it was going to be Modoski versus Bader next to unify it, I guess. Um, I can't pick a winner out of them to, again, I, I fought both of them. I fought Bader so, so long ago, though, at light heavyweight. So I haven't fought him at heavyweight. Um, again, the, the best man win. I've got unfinished business with both of them. So obviously, I'm not, I don't mind who wins. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to fight e either one of them to get that title fight. So again, be best man win for that. All but right. You said about fate. So you said about Fedor then. So what, what was that? What's... Well, I mean, there, there's been some kind of talk about maybe Fedor sneaking in there, and maybe Moldovsky being in. kind of his protege would would step back and <laughs> let him have that last, you know, go out on a title fight type okay. of deal. Okay. Well, again, obviously, I understand the name. That's probably why he's sneaking in. But it is what it is. Um, again, I'd, I'd love a, I'd have to fight Fedor at one point as well, as he is a legend. So maybe, maybe us two can get it on at some point, but you know, we'll see when it comes to that. You know, my focus is on Tyrell right now. All right, best luck. Hi, Linton, Kobe from the Pro Sports What's Podcasters. Up? How you doing? Good, buddy, good. Hope you're doing well as well. I'm, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Now, looking at who you fought, you fought a who's who of both heavyweights and light heavyweights yes. in Bellator, really anywhere. Terrell Fortune's got a lot of hype coming up, but he doesn't have the kind of resume that you've got. I would consider you a step up for him. How do you expect this fight to go? Um, yeah, I agree exactly what you just said there. Um, obviously, the fight, the fight is going to go me, TKO, or um, me ground and pounding him, or even submission. I feel like second round, that's, that's when he breaks. I feel like a lot of people don't last the first round let alone the second round, you know, especially if I come in, in on my best, you know, don't rush, don't force anything, you know, just take my time, patient, and, uh, and the finish will come. Now, most consider him a top-level grappler with yeah. good reason to do so. Did you bring anyone in this particular camp to kind of train for that? No, no. Again, I feel like we have the best team in the world. There was no need to bring anyone in f for him. Um, but yeah, he is, is a good wrestler, but I'm the mixed martial artist and I feel like I mix it up with the submissions, the ground and pound, the scrambles, the movements where I feel like he's more wrestling based and he's just focusing more on the wrestling rather than it all transitioning into, into one. Looking forward to a great fight, buddy. Appreciate it. Joe Sean. Hello, Linton. How are you? Jose Montesino from Lucha Libre Online. What's up, brother? I'm good, thank you. So, um, after three straight losses, it seems that you're going back to the winning streak, uh, yes. two now in a row. How was the process of changing, evolving? What do you work to go back to the winning streak? No lie, man. Them three losses was horrible. I actually contemplated on, you know, retiring. I thought, you know, I, I 
only lost one fight ever and then come back and win. So to lose three in a row was, you know, was um, heartbreaking, should I say. Um, so yeah, the, the biggest thing I did was get my weight down to a, a proper weight where I could train properly and not, you know, gas out. So I came in for the Modoski fight at um, 247 um, pounds, you know. Um, so my heaviest I ever was, was like 235, 240. So you got to think, I put all the extra weight on just like that for one fight. That was the biggest mistake I did. So after that loss, I'd gone back, spoke to my coaches, and we just fixed it right. Um, and yeah, man, obviously, you can see the proof is in the pudding. I've got two two big wins, second round, and it shows you that the changes obviously have, has, have worked into my favor. You're number six right now, ranking in the heavyweight. We all know that yes. Bellator heavyweight division is a huge one with a lot of great names. Yes. What do you expect? Uh, it's going to be the next step for you if you win on Friday. Um, I, I mentioned a, a while ago, world title fight. I feel like I've, I've got two big wins. You know, they were saying Karatonov was next in line. Um, if he beat me, obviously he didn't beat me. I, I got the win, but I didn't get no title fight. And then I got another fight after that, got that win. So I feel like a big win over Tyrell, a dominant win over Tyrell gets me that title fight. Thank you. Good luck. Respect. Last one here, David. Hi, Linton. Thanks for um, taking my question. Great to speak to a fellow Brit. It's uh, David Irvin from MMA Scotland. What's up, mate? Um, yeah, I'm great, mate. Yourself? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. Um, good. Glad to hear it, mate. You're looking good. Um, I looked at your record your last you've won your last two um the your opponent has a bit of a, a mixed bag um i mean have, have you been training on anything specific to, to, to neutralize his his game or have you or, or is it just business as usual um pr pr sorry pretty much it's business as usual you know um i sort of obviously i know tyrell's game um, obviously watching his fights and stuff. And we have a great, great um, team at, at Sanford. So our wrestling coach, Greg Jones, we wrestle hard, I mean hard, every Wednesday. Well, that's a lie. Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every day, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so, yeah. So not saying that I'm a wrestler, but, you know, it, Getting that grinding obviously helps. And then with the mixed martial arts, add into that with the boxing, kickboxing. Um, we have a great team and, you know, we have some solid guys backing us. Um, so we get pushed every day. So I didn't have to bring anyone in. I feel like we already have the team behind us um, for me to beat anyone in this division.